Okay, here we are the next day and we're lifting off our 90 foot long uh, lifting beam with the Fantuzzi. Two big half inch chains, he's lifted it and now he's backing it away from the truck. Woo! It works! The Fantuzzi saves the day. All by itself, it's just perfect. The lift points obviously are a little bit wider, but it is amazing. That's fantastic. Way to go, Peter! Woo! Okay, so it's Monday morning. It's at 8 o'clock. Just heading over to our meeting. I was just checking a bunch of fields. But I got a nice big rattlesnake on the road here. Ooh, he's nice. Anyway, uh, we got a... Uh, it's crazy. They they get on the road and uh, it's so dangerous for them. But this one is just a nice big rattlesnake. Let's see if we can get some more of them. Hey, bud. What do you think, Kay? Yeah? Are you nice? I love you. Yeah? I love when they get back into their strike position. Yeah. Strike position. Come on, strike a pose. Strike a pose. But he's got a real nice rattle on him. Are you gonna rattle? But I, like literally I had to, like I almost hit my head on the steering wheel, stopping not to hit him. They just blend in so well to everything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But you need to get off the road and stay off the road. This world is a dangerous place for snaky snakes. Oh, you're doing a little bit of side winding. I like that. Yeah, that looks really cool. All right, out into the prairie. Go eat your goat first and your field mice. Beautiful. <clears throat> yes. And the, the hard part is that most other people driving through the ranch, like oil well guys and gravel guys and that, they probably think of the snakes as a pest. And so they swerve toward the snakes, not away from the snakes. I don't know. I mean, there are some areas that set up signs to, you know, tell people to avoid running over the snakes. And not the people, like if you're just flying along, you're not going to be able to uh, dodge snakes and roll your car, but at least it sends the message for guys that are driving slowly around the ranch that we don't want them dead. We want them alive. You know, just that if that they're not actively trying to hurt the snakes anyhow. See what, we have to think that through. This is the buckwheat on irrigation, obviously, there's a pivot there. We just have a strip, strip of it. And then it's next to the phacelia, which is starting to grow these purple flowers. Just starting to flower, but I don't know. It looks like it's probably over 10% flower. Started, starting to happen. And it's pretty fun to see that the leaf cutter bees, they love buckwheat because they like the leaves. Somehow the texture or just the flatness or the size, you know, partly like that, those cutouts here that they're doing on the leaves are bigger than an entire alfalfa leaf. And so they probably like that it's a big leaf. It gives them a nice open area for them to cut the petal exactly the, or the piece exactly the size that they want to make their little um, cocoons. Whereas the alfalfa leaves are quite, you know, quite a bit smaller. Facelia doesn't have leaves at all that they could cut. And so I wonder, um, you know, if we ever use facelia, these, you know, they're starting to make these nice flowers, but you probably almost have to have buckwheat. And it's a good thing we have a strip of it all the way through the field you know, for them to get their leaf cuttings because yeah, Facelia is, uh, you know, it's more of a fern pattern. There's not, you know, there's no, no pieces of leaf big enough for them to do a cut. 
So that's going to be interesting to see what they do here in, in this field. But yeah, they'll bring out some more bees today into this field. Very exciting. Okay, a beautiful night. I had to go out in the kayak and clean up the screen. Beautiful sun's just getting ready to come down. But I fell off my kayak. Good thing I was right next to the screen. So I was hanging onto the pipe. So I didn't have to swim, but I am wet up to my armpits. And uh, I did find something cool for you. So cleaning off the screen, I found two dead crawdads. And these are what the pelicans are eating on the river. And they're just, it's crazy, just a baby lobster, little shrimp, but a freshwater crustacean. They're quite a, a neat little thing. And they are hard to catch live. We have caught them before, but they're super fast <laughs> and they swim in reverse. They use their big, all their legs and everything. Whoa, sorry. Just trying to get a mosquito off my arm. Anyway, and they just shoot backwards uh, super fast. You get close to them and all of a sudden they use all their legs and swoosh forward and they just shoot backwards through the water. Really fun to watch them, watch them swim. But anyway, they're just a really neat little creature. But the pelicans are huge fans. But poor little guy, he, uh, he got, I don't know if he got tangled up in the seaweed or what, but he didn't make it. He was all balled up in the seaweed and all that stuff. But there's thousands of these in the river. Very cool. Now, yes, I am soaked up to my armpit. Kind of <clears throat> one half of me went in the river and I'm hanging on the pipe. Uh, good thing I didn't have my phone on me, but my wallet is in my pocket. So all my stuff is all wet. It's a, uh, I mean, it's a hassle. Farmers wallets get full of dirt and then full of water, which makes mud and then full of dirt and then full of water. All the like magnetic strips on my credit cards and everything, they're just worn right off from all, all the dirt. But anyway, it's uh, it's very warm. So it's a good day to fall in the water. Very refreshing. It's not even cold. The river's quite warm and it's been crazy hot. We were 39 degrees Celsius today, which I think is just bumped up over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Anyway, talk to you later. Okay, so this pressure washer is awesome. I apologize for the wind, but a pressure washer is amazing. Turn it on. Nice pressure, you can clean off a vehicle, you can clean off a tractor. But, there's something even better. Having a water truck with a fire hose is even better. Especially, this truck was, this tractor was covered with mud and you just, Power the mud out of there. It's like, woo! Mud and dirt don't have a chance. with a fire hose is you get really wet. <laughs>